Hello ladies and metal chain and welcome to another replay cast. Today we are looking at the game in the Fosh 155 the tier 10 French tank destroyer playing on live oaks. And if you see the matchmaking table, we have already won because the enemy team has shitload of TDs and we have medium tanks. And medium tanks are good for this map. And TDs are shit for this map. Isn't that nice? This map is an absolute fucking joke, especially from this spawn. If you have equal amount or less mediums, you always lose. If you have the same amount or slightly higher, you probably still lose. But if you have way higher amount of medium tanks and the enemy team has a lot of TDs, you always win. It's great. It's great to balance your maps around just the general spawns and you know, the ability to predict the outcome of the game before it even starts. But, you know, we land our first shot across the map on a light tank with fuck all aim, because, you know, that's how you do it in this tank. It's really good at snapshots like this. If you have watched any of my streams, you know, the running joke uh, was uh, 750 damage per minute at first, and then it became in 750 damage per game. So we have already exceeded that, because uh, in general with this tank you miss two shots out of the mag, you hit one and then you die. That's how terrible the 155 usually is. But with a team like that, uh, like this, where everybody goes south, you can just join the lemming train and just shit on people from two meters away with this terrible ass of a gun. It's actually not that bad. So we're gonna try to insert gun into this IS-4, there's a really simple thing to do, shoot me in the track and I'm fucked. Well, I'm not fucked because I have a repair kit, but then I won't have a repair kit to do this to anyone else and we managed to, you know, just shit on him, which is great. Two shots, well, three out of three actually, we do get penned of course, but you know, that's uh, what you get with a five second reload in between shots on an auto loader. But it's not that relevant as the 103 isn't looking at me, so I'm not really bothered to use my repair kit there. Now this 103 is gonna be our next target, but first off we need to jerk off for 45 seconds and that's what we're gonna do. Back in action, three more shots ready to be implemented into this M103's fucking turret. But one will be enough. 730 roll, not the greatest, but it doesn't really matter as we would have never one shot at him. We do one shot that asshole though, so uh, five out of five doing great so far. IS7 probably our next target to try to make it six out of six, which would be unheard of really. And uh, let's see if we can do that. He should be able to just shit on me and my tracks again here, but hey. He is a silly wanker, so he doesn't. And we land him for 812, so life is pretty great for me. But you know what time it is? It's time to jerk off again. Sadly, our jerk-off session got cut short by this guy actually shooting me. So rude. Uh, so we're gonna shoot him back uh, with our freshly reloaded magazine. It should be enough uh, to, to kill him there. Uh, kill him and now, you know, might as well just not fully aim for this guy as well. Because, you know, why the fuck not? Uh, that is actually, what? Now, 7 out of 7? That is unheard of. Probably has to be a fucking world record in a Fosh 155, gotta say. Uh, trying to make it 8 out of 8, this T-54 is really the greatest teammate for that. It would have been really nice if he just drove forwards there, but, you know, can't have it all, can you? Now aiming, aiming, and get fucked. Time to jerk off again, though.
So we're almost loaded and ready to shoot this fucker in the face, so we do exactly that. And next up, my flies are pretty dodgy, then I, there's a Yak Panzer staring right in my face, and a Leopard 1 who is being a cheeky cunt. So it's gonna be pretty tough to actually get any more damage here, but I'm not really worried. I mean, uh, RNG carried me through this entire game so far, so might as well just go for it. We'll start with trying to shoot this Leopard 1 and realizing that our opening time is absolute garbage. Then we're gonna look at this Yak Panzer a bit and realize that he doesn't want to fuck with me either. And the Leopard, uh, yeah, learn to play, buddy. Just learn to play. Come on, dude. That's not how you do it. The Yak Panzer thinks he's, like, very cool now and wants to go for me, but, uh, uh, that is not a good idea, buddy, when there's, like, fucking five tanks on your flank. Uh, so, yeah, he gets absolutely obliterated, and there's just one guy left alive, which is this cheeky Leopard cunt. So, we're gonna finish him off and go back to jerky oh wait no the game is over we actually don't have to to do that anymore so you know he fires at somebody else which is uh you know not really how you do this and surprisingly enough we still have a repair kit so i'm not worried really about anything at all and he actually managed to miss me there as well which is quite pathetic anyways that is the game let's see the end plates ace tanker 3282 experience 7093 damage done 265 assisted, picked up 4 kills as well, as we managed to get uh, 1094 basic speed, which uh, is actually enough for an ace. Actually quite a miserable amount of experience for doing that much damage, but I guess we were doing quite a bit of sniping. We landed 11 shots out of 12, which is by 10 more than you usually do on average in uh, in a 155, so a uh, pretty decent game uh, here for the Fush 155. Kind of reflecting back on the old glory days of this tank where it wasn't absolute garbage. But, you know, every dog has its day. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.